Let's create some titles like Abby. If you want to see a part 2 video on how to make titles like Apple, hit the like button and place your comment down below. Let's go now to the tutorial. Okay, we're in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface. I have placed the image for the background, the audio, and the first thing that we want to do is to mark with markers the beats on the audio, the beats where we're gonna place the titles. Okay, so we start playing. We have our finger on top of the M in our keyboard and we start. Okay, so we have the markers. Let's uh, press M to the last marker and delete it. I don't think we're gonna need it. And now we go into the titles. As I said before, I have for you the title that I'm using. It's named Apple that has the ability to add keyframes to the tracking and the offset position, etc. So we'll go into titles. We drag the Apple title and we adjust it first in the beginning here. We select the title. As you can see here, if you go to the published parameters, you can have the rotation, the offset, the size of the title, the tracking, the line spacing, options that are not available on the normal title. You cannot add any keyframe, for example, in tracking or in the size. Let's use the default font for this example, but as you can see, from here we can change whichever font we want. Let's make it bold, okay. And let's change the face, the color to black. So for the first word, as you saw in the video before, we want to become smaller as we move forward. So we will go here on the published parameters, we will add a keyframe on size and then we will go into the end of the title. Let me go one frame to the left so we can see and we will change the size to, let's say, 250. Now for the second title, we're gonna just copy and paste the title and we're gonna start from the size that went on the previous one. So. I'm going to go here, I'm going to reset the keyframes, so I'm going to start from 250, I'm going to add the keyframe, and I'm going to go to the end and set it to 200. And we're going to go here and change the text to make. So as you can see, now for the third word, again, option clicking, duplicating the title. I end it to 200. So again, I will go to the publish parameters. I will reset the size. I will set it to 200. I will make it sum. I can add a keyframe, make it even smaller now this time. So I can make it 150, let's say. And then again, option in my keyboard, clicking, duplicating again. I don't forget to have the adjustment of the titles on the markers of the beat. We end it to 150. I'm gonna add the text, change it to titles, and then I will go here. In the beginning of the title, I will go to the publish parameters and I will add a keyframe in tracking. I can change the initial tracking, let's say to 100%, and I can go to the end and change the tracking again to zero. So let's see how it will look. Again, I'm pressing the option or alt in my keyboards and clicking, duplicating again the title. Now I will extend the title, okay? And I will change the text to like Apple and I'm pressing option, shift and K for the Apple logo, does. I will go into the published parameters. I will reset 
the tracking. And now the fun part comes with the masking. So I will go into the effects panel. I will go into mask. I will select the shape mask and I will place it here. Now I will go here into the effects panel on the inspector panel. I will go into the mask. I will change the feather to zero. And I can go here and change the curvature so I can have it 0%. We could do that, of course, from the inspector panel as well. Now, I will click here and convert to points on the transform controls. And I'm going to drag the mask here. I will select this point here and with shift on my keyboard, the control point too. And I will bring this here and add a keyframe to the control point. Now, I will go where the second marker is. I will go one frame to the left and add again a keyframe. Then one frame to the right and I will reveal Apple. Now again, the second marker, one frame to the left, add a keyframe to control points, one keyframe to the right, reveal the Apple logo. Next marker, one frame to the left, add a keyframe to the marker, revealing the world does. And let's see what we have so far. And how we can move forward now? We reveal that and we can unveil it. Okay, so what I can do here, where I am, I can add a keyframe again to the control point. I can move one, two frames, select these control points here now, add a keyframe, one frame more to the right, going here, one frame, add a keyframe, one frame more, go here, one frame, add a keyframe and then leave only the word does. And then we have only the word does. Now, what I did so the does can go to the left center and then gets zoomed in is basically I duplicated the title Let's extend the background image and the audio. So I duplicated the title. Okay. I will remove the draw mask. I don't want any tracking. The size is going to be the same, 150. I will go here. I'm going to keep only the word does. I will bring it on top and I want it to be on the same position where is on the previous title and then I will bring it here. I will add a keyframe to offset. I will add a keyframe to size and I will count one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say the middle frames. Okay. I will change the offset to bring it to the center, around the center. And then I will go to the size. I will add a keyframe. And until the end of it, I will change the size to 250. So check this out. Now, if you want, you can go into the motion blur. You can add some motion blur as well in the movements of the DAS. I will have the link for the Motion Blur plugin in the description of this video down below. And check this out, how it's gonna be with the Motion Blur. Hit the like button. Like. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna see a part of the video. <laughs> <laughs>